Welcome to this series of videos where we talk to Dr. Warren Corns, who's Research and Technical Support Manager at PS Analytical about uh, mercury and the various issues to do with mercury in the environment and analysis of mercury. So Warren, we, we've already mentioned that uh, you measure mercury in natural gas. Why do you need to measure it? What's the problems involved with having uh, mercury in natural gas and how do you measure it? Well, mercury um, in natural gas is uh, naturally occurring. It very much depends on the uh, geology of the well. Um, concentrations from various, um, can vary enormously from almost no detect uh, to saturated levels of mercury. And um, what happens is as the mercury comes from the well, um, it can be present in the natural gas uh, in the crude oil or condensate and also in the water. And all of these three fractions uh, have different forms of mercury and different levels. Uh, the mercury in the gas phase is particularly a problem uh, because um, uh, during the production of natural gas, um, uh, during the purification step, uh, there's a high, um, cryogenic heat exchanges uh, which operate at very low temperature. Uh, in fact, they're lower than the temperature of the freezing point of mercury. So what happens is the uh, mercury can accumulate at these low temperatures. And even at low concentrations, because the amount of gas that they're producing, um, over a period of time, this can build up considerable quantities. Um, these heat exchanges are also made from um, aluminium, and the mercury has the ability to remove the oxide layer, leaving fresh aluminium. And uh, during maintenance and shutdown, this, um, ox th this uh, fresh aluminium can react with uh, moisture in the atmosphere. And uh, once this happens, you have a very exothermic reaction, uh, and it can cause um, uh, weaknesses in the aluminium structure, and especially in welding joints. And then during startup again, there can be uh, catastrophic leaks and explosions and this has led to the shutdown of uh, numerous gas plants around the world. Um, and of course, uh, um, from an economic point of view, this is uh, undesirable and could lead to um, huge financial losses for the petrochemical company and also um, um, production losses and, and, not being able to, and not being able to supply the uh, public with gas. And so there's a need to actually remove the mercury in natural gas and also to uh, measure accurately the quantities um, so you can control uh, the, the amount of mercury going into the system. And uh, this is typically done with um, uh, mercury removal beds which are based on activated carbon or more commonly sulfided metal oxides. Uh, this will trap the mercury and uh, the typical concentration that you normally find downstream of these devices is less than 10 nanograms per cubic meter, uh, which um, is a very low concentration, but still, even these low levels can collect in downstream equipment and cause problems in the long term. So it's, an, a, it's not a perfect solution.